Hello, my good old man born in the 80s. Let's go for part three of our video. And as we were discussing, so sporting one, the sporting one, one zero, not gonna do British accent here. <laughs> it's not a thing that uh, comes naturally to me, I have to think about it a lot. So sporting one, here I am, two points ahead, 18th of December, as I left you, part three of my video, my Estrella Damodora, the question remains. Oh, great. Day is not coming. That's not the question. The question remains, will I win the Portuguese League or not? I have a problem here, I see. So Forense is already interested in Pinheiro. So this is the first little team to be interested, so we'll increase his value. Pfft, adios, they just disappeared. An absolute Nicky Franco still doesn't want to sign a contract. Let's go. Let's go, Belenenses, Belenenses. My marvel esteem, 100%. So, it's only, oh, uh, 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 I did something here that I definitely didn't want to do. Uh, sorted, sorted. See, my always goes, yeah, okay, perfect, yeah, yeah. Mulek lalalalai, here he is. Let's go, let's do this. Pelinenses, hopefully the next victim. Anshue is their striker. An Shue, who was a player that started in lay showings in the original database original at 3.9.60. But now, seems like An Shue. Oh, great. I, I have to keep an eye on Satmar there. But Sigalko is showing who is the man. The best try. Uh, that was a disallowed goal for Belenenses there. But still, fair. 3-1, here we go, here we go. Should I sub someone? Oh, my, my defensive midfielder is bad. I gotta put Igor, switch him with Emmanuel. And Satmar for Chirita. Palenkov goes into the left, Chirita to the right. Only right back. Chirita, wow. Talking about a one bet. Wow, boom. That was it. Instant results. We won. I won again. Just keeping the standard up. Big wins. Porto won, of course. Like Porto and Sporting will be tough. Oh, ho, ho. thank you, Academica. These there, five points behind. They are my rivals. Both. Make no mistakes. Things can fall apart. I've been there. Done that, and I don't want to do it again. Hopefully I have learned from my previous experiences. Oh, yeah, Musich. Musich is very good. Should I? Eh, indispensable. Why not? Piacenza is interested. Probably Piacenza will get him. I'm losing all the bids when I'm competing with clubs. Except for Kerr, I don't know how, but I won that one. Happy out. And Kalstrom goes to Ajax. There he goes. Goodbye, Kalstrom. And a little update. <coughs> I think this little update in December regards probably the Brazilian leagues or the South American ones. If I'm not wrong, it's either this one or the one on the 9th of January. There are like two or three moments here, I think. It's uh, the 19th of June. It's this moment here, the 26th of December. And there's a moment. Of course they signed Music, how can I compete? That's very disappointing, but okay, I have to live with it. Moving on, I got Satmar, it's not the end of the world. Baladenkov is praised, he should, as he should. This guy is just 825 in the season, 16 goals, 8 assists, not bad for a right back. He knows what he's doing. International Portuguese Cup, I'm getting the champions in my house. Is Passos de Ferreira in the Champions League? They are. Okay. I wonder if... Who else is there? Sporting? No. They are in the Europa League. What about Porto? They should have access to the... They have access to the Champions League. This is so strange, man. I don't... Uh, this is strange, though. So, Porto and Passos got... Place in the Champions League. Right? As first and second, respectively. Sporting 
got a Super Cup game against Passos. Sporting won nothing. I won the cup ever. Again, the same old issue. Let's move on. It's not that relevant in the end of the day. I, I want to get Paiva. Please, Paiva. Please be an Amador player next year. I hope you become a, an Amador player next year. Reasus. I want to sign this guy. Might be very useful. So I'm giving him a nice little old contract. Emmanuel is injured for 10 days. We'll see when the next game occurs. All good so far. Can't complain. Estrella Amador is making it through. First in the Premier League of Portugal. Yes. And we shall be champions, hopefully. Hopefully, like. With Sigalko and Marajo and Nicky there leading the squad, as they should. Now, I got a player on the 1st of January. He's an attacking midfielder, left, right, or center. So I should get rid of Eager and Cristobal, both. Just get rid of him. I'm not going to get anyone, I suppose, there. From those competitions, uh, Papadopoulos. You were such a dream. Passos, 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 and Kostrom, and me. I got my Niemi, who's a very, very good attacking midfielder, let's be honest. He's he's no dumbass, uh, that's for sure. He has some good technical attributes. And like Igor, who is a piece of shit of a player that I'm like, fuck me. So you're going. Cristobal as well. Niemi has a forward, and he has all it takes to score as well. Oh, no one wants him. No one wants Cristobal. Okay, back up to the first team. He's happy. He just goes to the reserves. Goodbye. Hopefully, I'll get rid of his friend, Igor. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, team is a little bit smaller, but there's so many more options with this guy added on. That's very good. I don't even know where Jerio anymore to come in and so forth. So, no way. No way you're gonna get Sadmar. No way. There is like no way. You gotta pay 15 million euros so for Sadmar. Are you still interested? Wow, these guys must be rich. They must be loaded. That's the only explanation I have anyway. These guys want Igor. Can you get 300 to Igor, maybe? Eh. We'll see, we'll see. The answer lies ahead. Still interested. They got a William at 34 years old. Fair play to Situbal. Fair play, investing in the elders. Now, nah, Boavista gave up on Sakmar, thank God. Not planning on selling this guy, that's for sure. And Igor is good. Goodbye, Igor. Just good. Yes, John Paiva is mine. If you don't know this guy, you should. This Portuguese guy from Sporting B. Off the ball, 20. That's all you need to know. He's a striker. And his speed as well is 19 or something. So he's one of those players. He's a little Tsegalco. Tsegalco in smaller proportions, let's say. But he is a very good player. So here is my team, and we're going to play against Gil Vicente. Great. Everyone has to play this game in the next. There's no contemplations. There's no truce for anyone. We have a cup game ahead. Oh, man. Risp got a red card. That's really, really bad. Okay, so that guy is injured. I'm guessing that... <sighs> I should put Emerson, should I? Yeah, I suppose I should put Emerson on uh, this guy's position. From here, Emmanuel goes here, Marajal goes to the center. It's me defending now. From the 
18th minute onwards. And I scored again by Maraja. Maraja, the star. 2-0, okay, half time, no problems with the physical condition, so it doesn't seem. They all look pretty decent, except for Niki Ferenko now, as I see. Oh, no, no, no. Let's give this guy his first game. Niemi. I don't know if he's ever going to be, like, first-team player, like, first 11, but still. Should I discipline Risp? What should I do here? If I discipline Risp, he's going to be like, oh, my God, how dare you discipline me? But I should, but discipline you. Boom. There you go. You accept your warning because you know what you've done. Yes. Fair. That's fair. Algaro is once eager as well. Wow, eager now is the guy with the Marcus. Let's go for 400 on Salgaros. 550. Oh yeah, that's fine. It's almost like doubling the first bit that I was given. Wristband for two matches. That's bad. That's really bad. We'll survive. Yes, we will. Don't have amazing central defenders, but still we will manage. I'll cancel this transfer. So 550 is the number that I have. It's a good number. I was just looking there. Oh, Edward North, and he looks so old. Wow. It's on my television currently, making a speech about Motherless Brooklyn, which should be like a new movie or something coming up. Looks so old. Yeah, time goes by. It looks good anyway. But... There you go. 9th of January. There's another transition right there. I think this, this is the official transition when the Brazilian leagues or the South American in general uh, just, just change seasons. So there you go. Igor, first Salgueiros. Yay, gonna change their season. Their first. In the first place, I don't even need him. Fair enough. Take him away. He's not for sale as a joke. He's for sale for sale. So I'm back with my center midfielder, Mark. Uh, that's it. Team that wins, wins and keeps winning, I hope. See Galico. Come on, former champions. Oh man, another red card to a central defender. This time Kunzo gets it. Not good, my friends, not good. Mark Kerr seems to be slightly injured. I have no other option but to remove him for a central defender at this stage. Marajo again, and here we are defending. We might just lose the cup here as long as we win the league. That's fine. No. Oh, yeah. Maxim Tsigalko and Marajo. The usual. The usual sus suspects. Solving the games. Again. Another discipline moment for Kunzo. Not good, Kunzo. Not good. Maybe it was just, uh, I don't know, he's not used to playing on the left side of the center. Like, I don't know, maybe that was it. I always play on the left side with Risp. They're both either foot, they both eat, use either foot, but... I know that uh, Risp is here to stay and Kunzo is just, I don't know, he's, he's not bad, let's be honest. But he will get the job done for me. So now, I have no other option but to put Abdul Rahman hmm. as the man. Okay, so my central defenders are the B central defenders. Rest wise, I have the team. They're all here. They are all pretty fantastic. This guy should be having like a basic Portuguese language skill at this stage, I hope. I suppose, I mean. 
He's here for six months. He doesn't understand anything of Portuguese at all. I know that he knows how to say obrigado. Obrigado or something. Fair enough. Niki Porenko still not ready yet to sign that contract that I desperately need to sign the contract with. So this is against Porto. Porto are second, as we know. We cannot lose. We cannot draw. We cannot miss this around and ah maxim 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 tigalko maxim tigalko is a legend oh don't like that injury on valerinkov gotta remove him now let's see three zero three one ah oh, crap <clears throat> the one that I adapted there. So Chirita is injured as well. My defense will have problems. They will have problems, indeed. I wish I had nailed a Nokoronko. I wish. That would have been the salvation of the army. So halfway through, and we are eight points ahead of the second. Maybe seven, if Sporting wins, they will pass Porto. But still, strong. Stable. We'll get there. We will get there. By the way, do I have an Irish accent? Everyone says that I have a sort of an Irish accent now. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm just that guy that uh, absorbs accents. I'm from Lisbon originally. <clears throat> Born, bred, raised, whatever. So I have like a very neutral, whatever, Portuguese accent, if you can say that. But uh, if I go to Porto for two weeks, say, and I come back to my house, my mom is going to be like, who are you, man? Are you from Porto? Are you? Oh, jeez. Sporting destroyed Maritimo. That's fair enough, I suppose. All 100% again. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know about that. Last trip I had, there was this... In, uh, last trip, a few trips I had, a few people are looking at me like, are you Irish? Like... I don't know, guys. Whatever. So that's quite interesting, I would say. Uh, just a loud goal. Just a loud goal for Tigalco. Not fair. Not fair. I can't do this to my baby. My baby doesn't like it. That's not fair at all. All good so far. Satmar is 90, but he's always a little bit below the rest because of his stamina. It's not the best. It's like 12 or something. But we will survive. Mark Kerr. Mark Kerr. No Tsigalko, but we have another legend there. 2 0. And moving on. 10 points ahead of Sporting now at the 18th game, like halfway through. If I don't win this league, I'm, I'm, I should just throw myself out of the window, pretty much. Not this window, because I'm on the ground floor. So the effects would be zero on that one. I wouldn't even break a leg or an ankle. But uh, come on. It's Trilla Damador looking strong. Do, 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 do. We're moving on. The Portuguese Premier League and Championship Manager. Everyone likes Championship Manager 2001, 2002. <coughs> which is pretty much the eternal. So Rogerio is glowing, glowing references from training. Still, <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. Now my team, now my team for sure. So I got this as uh, it's kind of back. Yeah, yeah. All good, Marajo, Satmar, Valerinkov, Emerson. I'm just doing this as fast because I have nothing else to be worried about except for the Portuguese League. But if I had like every three days games, as I will probably from next year, regardless of finishing first or not, it's a different story. I just start ro rotating the players with the different love because regardless, they they won't they won't make it through all the games at a hundred percent. And I won. Yes, I did. I did. Oh, my defensive midfielder. 
He he developed a lot of numbers. Very impressed. He had no nitty eye, but not bad at all. He has a good work rate anyway. Oh, Vista is destroyed. Now, 2nd of Feb, going away. Going away, and we don't want to lose points. We don't want to lose points, boys, so we don't. Let's go. Belenenses, Pic Benfica. I don't really care about that battle. Oh, Chiswaldo resigned. He wasn't even fired. He resigned. Well, uh, if I had Benfica from the beginning, my team would be unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. But no. Got no such thing. By the way, what's my attendance? Uh -huh. Looking like it's looking bad. It's not looking great anyway. I'll live with that. I don't think it's going to pass by 12,000 because my stadium is 23,000 already. As the base, so I got to take Boletinkov off. He's tired and Emerson as well. Ain't looking great. Ain't looking hot. So Kunzu is back anyways. That's not too bad. Eh, Boletinkov though, he should be on the bench just in case. And they're all there. Ray. Oh, what a gift. What a gift. Demetrios. Sent off. I don't even know what he's doing in Braga, to be honest. I, don't, I wouldn't believe that he has, like, a, a place in that team. But fair enough. There he is. Please, don't, don't. No surprises. Why am I, am I not winning? What is wrong with Sigalko? Why, why is he playing six at this stage? That is not Sigalko's material. Don't like it. Is this the game that Lucinio is finally going to be on the pit? No, it's not. Ugh, Maxine. Yes, redeeming, redeeming. Redeeming himself again. 44 goals in 21 games, and on we go. Who's Cristiano Ronaldo? Huh? Who's Messi? That Maxim Tsigalko, he got like everything. Porto lost at home against Maridimo. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Maridimo, who was like on the verge of leaving this league. Marcus is actually a nice goalkeeper. My sub. I'm happy out there. He's young. He's good. Play against Casapia next for the cup. Which is a gift. I can ro just rotate them all. B team on that game, that's for sure. I'm coming to February. I always have that uh, little Champions League rush going on. Not in this case. So we get we lost five three at home against Sporting. Now it's time for revenge. Hopefully, I risk Kunz of Satmar. They're all there. They're all there. No excuses. Shirita is injured, okay, he should be on the bench, but that's not exactly the most relevant thing ever. I'm saying. Please, Jardel, don't. Just don't, man. Or Nikolai, Jardel especially. He's a menace. There's a loud goal there. There is something wrong here. Marajo is injured, or potentially injured. I guess... I guess that's it. Niemi is coming in from Marajo. And I will say that he's the organizer from this point. I'm freaking out. Marios Nikolai. Just draw the game. Win, guys. Yes, Tigalko. Who else? Who else? Come on, I deserve to win. Again. This is like sporting being like carried carried on like babies. They have Dita at goal and on the goal, but still. Where's John Pinto? Did he leave? Did he leave this club? He did. In Stuttgart. Very good. Oh, they they just lost Jardel. He's in Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich doesn't really need Jardel, do they? Jesus. 
Is that how well we're sent to cruise? Man, why did it even bother? That's why I'm saying like, why would they sign Jardel? When they have all those strikers. I have nothing wrong with Jardel, but 15 points ahead. Yes, this is it. It's true, it's real. I will win. I will win this league quarterfinal, quarterfinal with Kazapia from the second division B with a 41 year old goalkeeper. Okay. Those are the start. Oh, Roberto Lima. Ooh, wow. Okay. So Lisinho was playing. I have to. I must. I should. I will. Barson for Niemi, Emmanuel, this guy, Kunzu, and this guy, let's do this, mm, Sakmar is not good, Sakmar ain't good, no physical condition there, I gotta put Kunzu on the left, which is weird, very weird, still, I'm gonna give Marcus a game, should I? Will I? Why not? Why not? Kazapia, man. Come on. Licinio, come on. You know who you are. You know who you are, Licinio. Show me. <laughs> well, that guy never. <laughs> oh. Little Marajo. The kid Marajo is. Unbelievable. Niemi is injured. Great. Not great, obviously. But... Huh? Did they just, like, score a goal? Jesus. Marajo, four goals. I told you, this number 10 is unbelievable. 15 goals, 15 assists. There we go. More now. <laughs> More now. It's like... 19 goals, 15 assists in 23 games. Think about a number 10. Look at last season as well. Think of a number 10 who doesn't forgive and he cost me 35k, 35,000 euros. Like, come on, come on. Okay, so Situval away, I just did a B-team situation there, so let's go back to the main boys on the pitch. Uh, Maraja, he is exhausted actually. Niemi is down, but he's not exhausted. So, Niemi it is. Marajo still on the bench, Lucinio there, Lucinio is out of shape, of course, 21 years old, doesn't play. Poor guy. How can I, though? Except for like a game against Kazapia, how can I just put Sigalko on the bench? Imagine if I didn't put Sigalko on the bench in the last game, how many goals would he, would he have scored? Probably a few. But I have to. There's more people. And he might get injured, and then I need my striker, and then I have nothing. And then I'm like, ah, should have put Lucinio before. So I don't want that situation to happen to me. Not at all. It was an injury. Again, this guy is touched. Big, big time touched. I'm gonna put Nikki in the middle. See how that goes. 5-0 well, for the league with a hat trick from the man himself. Yes. My attack is so ridiculous. 82 goals. The second best attack is Porto with 46 goals. Wow, it's like almost double of the goals. Sigalko has 41 goals in the league. 41 goals in 20 games. That's something. I mean, for him, it's it's not even like his best season ever. But... Hey, man, Benfica was destroyed. Just destroyed by Porto. 7-0. Just like that. Porto now has the second best attack on the league. Congratulations. <clears throat> Moving on, we're reaching another 
They're big mark. No way, no way, no way, no way. You wanna you wanna buy him, you pay. You pay and you get him next season. That I don't mind. Seven and a half million euro next season, Kunzu is yours. That doesn't doesn't affect me a little bit, even. Like, I don't care. You can go nowhere now. My reserves lost six zero to their reserves. That was a tough defeat. The guy promoted to my B team. Who is this guy? This guy is horrible. He's young. But he is horrible. Still. For numbers sake. Literally. I'll renew the contract. If I don't like him. I can always disappear from the club like that. So no more interest in Kunzu? Oh, What a shame. Little babies. You little babies. Aw. Oh. Niemi? No way, man. Marajo. <clears throat> the one and only legend. The one and only legend. Playing against Pereira again at home. The champions. Oh, man. Okay. One of those moments, right? Nero. Got injured. Got injured? No, he got sent off, so I need to put Nuno Marcus. Now, who to remove? Marca. Oh, man. Should I remove Marker or should I remove this guy? He's a defensive midfielder, though. This is crazy, but yeah, sure. Marker goes, he goes there. Marajal assumes. We're losing 1-0 at the 6th minute with my goalkeeper off. Oh, still. Oh, there you go. That's the one bet. Oh, a disallowed goal. Uh, disallowed goal. Player sent off. Penalty for them. Oh, man. Being a champion is a freaking privilege, isn't it? Another disallowed goal. That's unbelievable. Now that's... What can you do? Like, when the game wants you to lose, so it's like two disallowed goals, one penalty, and one guy sent off for me. Come on. Come on, guys. Really? We're not that dumb, are we? <laughs> Congratulations to Passos de Ferreira. My first defeat or whatever. My second defeat of the season, I lost against Sporting that game. First game of the season, but like, <laughs> come on, Jesus carried on their laps. Even if my disallowed goals were just like allowed, I would have won four three. Would have won four three, like, but no, of course not. <sighs> disallowed goals, like everything. Now we are reaching. The end of the season, sorta. I still have 12 games to go. It's 34, 18 teams. You know the drill. Usual. Uh, top league, 18 teams, whatever. Not the 20. That uh, Spain... Or the, or the English league has. But, uh... Most of the professional top divisions are 18 teams. <laughs> there would be no money in the Portuguese league to actually keep like the 20. Wouldn't make any sense, let's say. There's money, but why? Why would you have a league that never ends? It just drags itself for no reason. So, first of March, here we are, Academica. I should wrap this part three very soon and give you the part four. Are you? Why? Why? Because my goalkeeper is like not rotated enough? Probably. That's actually like probably. But still tragic. Tragic. Oh man. Whew. And there's nothing I can do. Niemi, because Barsum is not here today. 15 minutes to go. Maxim Tsigalko, man. How is he not. Boring, I think. Okay. Well, fuck. What can you do? 
You have Lucini on Lost, Lost. What can you do? The morale as well. Must have disintegrated after the last game, alright. Lost 2 0 at home. And now, Sporting wins, and they are 11 points behind me. Imagine if I would win, if I had win, if I had won, if I had win, no, if I had won. I'd be very clear, very, very clear. Champions League goes. Looks like Roma's flying the flag again. Surprise, surprise. Spillerme, that Porto signed, is making a difference in this league already. Good player. Pinheiro, two matches still. Santa Clara. If I, if I lose against Santa Clara. Come on. Mulekelai. Mulekelai. That's it. That's his name. Pronounce it a couple of times. You get it right. I mean, you get it right. Probably that's not the not even the way you pronounce. Jeez. And they they leveled the game, man. These guys leveled the game from from two 0 How can this be, man? Ciara and Figueredo. You're not bad, actually. Still, man. Still. Come on. Sigi. Yes. No. Ugh. Injured. He's more of a defensive midfielder than my Petri Emanuel is. My Petri Emanuel is more like a center midfielder. That's where he plays really well, I think. My experience with him, anyway. And usually. Yeah. I've done a few tests, let's say. Like, a lot. I'm pretty sure about what I'm saying. So, 5-2. The end of the day, like, I won. <sighs> this, this doesn't make any... This was tight, like... Fair enough. 5-2 for the man. Nuno Marquez now. My backup goalkeeper. Showing. Showing stuff. And he's injured for three weeks. Mukelai. Mukelai. Whatever. That guy. Okay, so. Guess I'm gonna save this right before the next game. And I will leave you. Part three, don't forget, I'm coming back with part four. The question remains, am I going to be champion or not? That is the question, isn't it? Nuno Marquez, he came up late. The only goalkeeper I have, he just came up late. Man, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you, man? You're playing like this is your moment. And you just decided to <laughs> joke around. Who was in the bench? Leão. Leon was a 19-year-old goalkeeper. I, I think I have to put him, though. What am I going to do? Play with this guy at 79%. Like, 79? No. No way. You're coming in. It's going to do this uh, little definition, save the game, and... Come back to it with you, boy. They're all done, all there. Ah, fantastic. Okay. So. Uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. Call him Gov on the bench. No way. Coming back, you're forgiven. Absolutely. Simois is there, Kara is there, Emmanuel is on the bench. Blah, blah, blah. Nikki Perenko still doesn't have any Portuguese in him, so I can't sign the contract. It's similar, but I can't complain. Team is looking awesome. Now my my defensive midfielder became one of the stars, which is curious as well. So my friends, see you in part four. Let's see if we win this league. Cheers, like, subscribe, leave comments, say something. Be alive. Keep the game alive. All the best.